President Recep Tayyip Erdogan is making Russia the destination for his first trip abroad since last month's failed coup by Turkey's military. Tuesday's meeting with President Vladimir Putin marks a swift reversal in relations. Turkey's shooting down of a Russian warplane near its border with Syria last November led Moscow to impose economic sanctions, particularly on food imports and tourism. With Turkey's economy suffering, in June Erdogan apologised for the Russian plane's downing and then after July's coup attempt, Moscow was supportive. Putin was one of the first leaders to call Erdogan and he declared unconditional support for the Turkish government, the democratically elected government of Turkey against the coup. Turkey's European and American allies have condemned the coup but are concerned by Erdogan's consequent crackdown on the military, government employees and the media. The war in Syria is one of the most difficult topics for the two presidents. They back opposite sides. But before the meeting, Erdogan said, only in partnership with Russia will we be able to settle the crisis in Syria. Amid the cooling of ties with the West and the concerns over the authoritarian drift of Erdogan's presidency, Brussels is also trying to salvage an unravelling agreement over migrants. Ankara agreed in March to stop people crossing into Greece in exchange for financial aid being revived, the promise of visa-free travel for its citizens to much of Europe and accelerated EU membership talks. But the post-coup crackdown has delayed the visa-free travel threatening the entire deal. Demonstrating to both Brussels and Moscow his strong popular support, Erdogan held a huge rally in Istanbul on Sunday and there brought up another issue which disturbs the EU, the proposed reintroduction of the death penalty. He said sovereignty stays unconditionally with the nation. If the people want the death penalty, in my opinion, the political parties should follow the will of the people. Germany has said the reinstatement of the death penalty would end Turkey's bid to join the EU, which would likely turn the country more to the east.